So as you know, my name is Keontae Ashe, and this is Blue Aura Healing Guidance and Tarot. This is going to be a reading for our Twin Flames, okay? So all of our DF Divine Feminine and all of our DM Divine Masculine Hunty. If you in any way at all identify as a Twin Flame, then this reading is for you. You guys, I'm actually able to stretch out now without hurting my wrists. Sometimes my wrists are hurting on my desk. So, you know, carpal tunnel, I've never experienced that before, even with working in offices and things like that, I've never experienced that, but now all of a sudden I'm like having these feelings and things, so I just make sure I stretch out and everything, you know? But let us go ahead and jump into the reading. We're going to do a tarot reading today, just straight up tarot reading. If I decide to pick any, um oracle cards or anything like that it'll probably be after okay so let us see what the messages are here for the twins on today thank you spirit what are the messages could be about your significant other the person on your mind or you know just life I'm going to let spirit guide. The house is quiet. Ooh, I'm enjoying it. Very much so. Ace of Wands, it looks like. Yes, Ace of Wands energy. All right, so seeing yourself as capable. Seeing yourself as the co-creator, okay, with spirit. Spirit guides you, tell you what it is that would be best for you to do. You say, okay, spirit, not an issue. And you follow spirit's lead. You say, I am capable. This is like the wand that spirit... Um, you know, that Moses had, okay? Spirit gave the seven wonders too, the seven powers, okay? It had all those different things that it can do, okay? Then we have the six of swords. So spirit is telling you how to make something easier for yourself. Let us see. You do your part, spirit will do spirit's part. That's what I'm seeing with temperance. All right, unfinished business. That keeps coming up too because the six of cups is past life or the past so something from the past memories coming back okay something that you need to tend to something that you need to resolve okay let us see what we have thank you spirit okay we have the seven of of wands I'm about to say swords okay i see the nine of cups sticking his head out so somebody feels like you would be their heart's desires you would be wish fulfillment for them they feel like they've prayed for you Mm -hmm. They thank God that they finally found you, honey. It's that type of energy. Casey and Jojo out this mother. Um, let us see. Their intuition is telling them to move forward, but for whatever reason, I feel a pause. So I'm going to have to see why this pause is here. Hold on. Let me look into it. Well... Hmm. Justice. Karmic. Something dealing with karmic. Okay. Getting karmic justice. Are you getting your karmic justice? I'm feeling. All right. And I say that because the strength card is here. Hmm. I, I don't know. I'm hearing tested your gangster. Someone could have tested your gangster. Hmm. Okay. Someone tested your gangster. Page of Wands in reverse. Oh. <laughs> Baby witch. I mean, it's nothing wrong with that. We all start somewhere. It is what it is. But it's like... As a baby witch, though, you don't go and uh, try to attack someone who's been doing, you know, craft work for a minute. You don't do that. Right? And then people hear spells and they're like, oh, you know, now don't get me wrong. You do have people that only work with dark magic, that only do dark magic and things like that. Then you have people that work with the universe, energy, and intentions, which truthfully is still magic. And people just don't want to admit to that. I'm just someone who's a realist. And realistically speaking, it's still magic. It's manipulation of or working with whatever you want to call it, energies. 
transmuting energies, however you want to call it, okay? So that's what I'm feeling. I'm feeling a lot of um, intrusive energy, a lot of, um, I don't know, but it's just like it's not enough because you know how to transmute energy. You know what I mean? It's something like that. So let us see here. We have the Nine of Wands and we have the Three of Wands, the Knight of Pentacles and the Emperor. Okay. So I feel like the masculine in this situation is slowly but surely making their way towards you because first of all, okay um energies energies that are involved at the moment you get what i'm saying and i don't blame them to be honest with you it's just too much we have the six of swords we have the hierophant spirit keeps pulling them closer to you you closer to them that's just what keeps happening okay then you have karmic whoever it is that is trying to control manipulate or whatever the situation they see the situation is healing they don't like it so page of wands in reverse you know they try to send some sort of energy towards you but they're inexperienced they don't necessarily know what it is that they're doing so maybe you take that energy and you transmute it not to mention seven of wands you're protected so this is a challenge for them they don't understand why you're so strong how you're so strong what's going on things like that pages for it so once again they're showing up as pages so new inexperienced young okay once again it's not necessarily a bad thing we all have to start somewhere okay some of you could be watching this and you just started crafting or you just started working with energies manifesting to know whatever it is so it's not that it's a bad thing right you have to start somewhere but once again it's like somebody coming into the company and they're working in the mail room and they sitting up there trying to come for the, the vice president the vice president then you know known then already we're not about to go through this it's like you're trying to come for the vice president the vice president is the one who put you on the vice president is the one you get what i'm saying or some shit like that it's like what are you doing just do what you're here to do and that's it. You know what I'm saying? That type of thing. Like, no offense, but, like, come on with it. Like, <sighs> happens too often. So, we have the Ace of Cups, okay? That's what it is. They see that this person's heart has healed or you're helping heal this person's heart. They try to keep this person stuck, but you show this person that they're not or it's something like that. You get what I'm saying? Queen of Pentacles, Two of Cups. This person loves you, okay? This person feels a way about it. They wanted to keep them stuck. And it's not working. This person wants to come towards you here with this love offer. All right. What's underneath this? The hermit. I feel like you enjoy your solitude or you like spending time by yourself, but you also enjoy spending time with this person. You enjoy their company. I don't know. I'm just very much so getting this energy here that you're going to continue to do what you want to do. If you want to talk to this person, you're going to talk to them. If you want to see the person, you're going to see them. That's just what you're going to do. I feel like they love you deep. You love them deep. I feel like um, the karmic is aware of this. And, you know, I, I mean, they're just sending you energy that I feel like is going right back or it's not affecting you or it's something like that. You get what I'm saying? Now, I'm just going to keep it moving because I don't even understand why that's... I mean, I did say whatever wanted to come up, but we got the page. <laughs> so, yeah, there's a, a reconciliation here happening with you and this person. And there's an ending coming in any situation that's been burdensome, whether on their end, your end, or anybody that's been trying to cause a burden on this relationship. The twins are coming together. That's what I see here as the underlying. Okay, so let's go around the board one more time. Really make sense of this choppy ass reading. Like I said, they love you, you love them. King and Queen of Cups. Okay. They see you as someone who is um, secure. And I keep saying emotionally secure. And it keeps coming out like that. Emotionally secure, mature, stable. You know what I'm saying? Financially, possibly as well. But the Queen of Pentacles has the Midas touch. She know how to make something from nothing. You know, she know how to make her space more beautiful. Any space more beautiful. You know, you can give her a nice budget to work with and she'll probably have a whole bunch saved left over from said budget and have your place looking amazing because that's what the queen of pentacles does you know like she just knows how to do a lot with a little okay and so this person there's so many different things they value about you um that being one of them but yeah we have the page of swords so this person i don't know it's like they're learning okay they're learning it's nothing wrong with that but 
they just, I don't know, it's like they're trying to attack you. Seven of Wands, it's just not working. They're trying to figure out why it's not working. Seven of Wands, Ten of, ten of Wands. It's like they're trying to overburden you or get this person to not love you, but it's not working. Yeah, and once again, third party. <sighs> I don't like reading the energy, but if it comes up, we just got to read it. It's because they love you, so this is what they're doing. Trying to do spell work, ritual work, magic, different things like that to get the person to block you out, but it doesn't work. Like I said, they try to keep the person stuck. They're not stuck. They're not stuck. Yeah, we have the High Priestess and the Eight of Wands. You know that the person is coming towards you. There's about to be a lot of progress. They want to cooperate with you, be with you in a relationship. The Lover's card and the Fool card. They want a brand new beginning. Seven of Pentacles, they want to invest into you. Four of Swords, you are some way, somehow connected to their peace of mind. Okay, let us see. Page of Wands in reverse. Okay, the Fool card, yeah. Okay, so they want this brand new beginning with you and what they're trying to do, magic going to stop the brand new beginning. Is it going to work? No, because they love you, you love them, it's mutual. They're trying to do chaos magic, cause confusion, uncertainty, doubt with the emperor, okay, when it comes to his logic and how he thinks of you or how he feels about you, they try to distort that, but this person just wants to move forward. They want to come into union with you. It's really nothing they can do about it because you guys are a match. Um, yeah, King of Pentacles, they see you as somebody who's very independent, therefore you're not just going to be sitting up there with your hand out like, oh, can I have, can I have, can you do, can you do, can you do, this is what I need, this is what I need, this is what I need, the only thing you need is them, the only thing you want is them, you get what I'm saying, everything else is a bonus, <laughs> Six of Swords, the Hierophant, okay, <laughs> that just made me, um, think of this song, hold up, Ghostface Killer, All That I Got Is You with Mary J. Blige. Okay. I feel like, yeah, you know, this person could have tried to do spell work on their money or on their finances, on your money or on your finances with the Five of Pentacles here. But all of that just came right back. So now it's like they're experiencing issues and trouble and this and that. That It's just like, why would you do that? So, yeah, we got the Six of Swords, the Hierophant, yeah, the Queen of Cups. But Spirit showed them, like, you love them deeply. You love them sincerely, authentically. Okay. Queen of Pentacles. All right. Four of Swords. Yeah, you're connected to their peace. You help heal their soul. As I just heard, you help heal, heal their soul, restore their soul. Oh. All right. And then we have Page of Cups and the Ace of Cups. Oh. King of Swords. Yeah, they think about you all the time. This person wants to call you. Okay, they feel like they have to sneak and do everything because this person is trying to like cause so much damage for them. But here's the thing. They don't care. They're ready for the situation to end. They're like, you know, to hell with it because they shouldn't have to do this like this is how they feel. We have the page of cups and the ace of cups. All right. What is this? Yep. The knight of swords. They're coming quick, fast because they want to be with you they want to build with you you get what i'm saying then the magician is here they're trying to manifest you into their life you understand what i'm saying they want you to be in their life on a consistent basis they don't give a damn what this person is talking about they really don't excuse me all right let us see <clears throat> Looks like they could have had mother wounds that they needed to heal. Okay. And I feel like with the chaos magic, you know, some things have been distorted. You were seeing things one way. We have ghosted. Okay. So, yeah, it says, I'm sorry I disappeared. I needed to get away and clear my head. Okay. So, if they ghosted you, if you felt ghosted or like they just... You don't, you didn't know what happened. It says soon. I'm going to contact you soon. You're going to hear from them soon. Okay. This is why you haven't heard from them. This is what's been happening. Okay. Things being distorted. They're not knowing how to feel due to chaos magic. Somebody found out that they love you 
or found out how they feel about you. They don't like it. All right, tears. It says, when I think about you, I cry. Yeah, because they don't want to be without you. They don't like that. It says, you're mine. No one compares. So, like I said, maybe, no maybe, but Karmic knows that. And maybe they just are sad about it, you know? They had mother wounds, like I said. They had to heal. They healed them. It says, my mother is a big influence on my behavior now as an adult. I have challenges with connecting to the divine feminine energy within me and externally. All right? And then with run away, it says, would you pack a bag and meet me in Hawaii? I just want to get away from the world and be alone with you. Okay? So... Underlying energy, finding myself. It was time I went within to find myself again. I need to figure out what I want out of life. I need space. Okay, so give this person the necessary space so they can see through this illusion spell. You get what I'm saying? Don't continue to force it because it's not something you have to force. Just let them breathe. You get what I'm saying? Let them breathe. Let them be. Let them do what needs to be done. And you'll see them soon. Let's pull some protection spells for the twins. Yeah, we got justice and we have knowledge. Yeah. Mm hmm they will see clearly very, very soon. Okay? Trust and believe. Go listen to um, this song, you guys. All That I Got Is You. It popped in my head. And at the end, he's talking about the universe and love and different things like that. So... Just talking. Go listen to it, y'all. Let's see. All right. Thank you, spirit. Ooh. All right. We have romance. It says romance. It is a sacred power. Let it come to me this hour. Okay. Yeah. This person has true romance with you and peace. Bridget, goddess, in your sacred name, a light within me, peace is flame. So always remember that whenever you connect with this person, remember these two things, root chakra energy, heart chakra energy, sacral chakra energy, <laughs> throat chakra, and I'm just kidding, <laughs> throat chakra energy, a little nasty, so, whoa, no, I'm just kidding, but, um, <laughs> all right, let's see. Ooh, psychic protection. Yes, God. It says, around me now, a shield of gold, protecting me, strong and bold, in the name of Jesus and every other ascended master's name. It says, letting go, okay? Allow the wisdom to remain, but the sting I shall never feel again. Exactly. Let go of whatever you need to let go of and just feel joy. Because the person was trying to cause confusion and uncertainty, not just for your masculine, but also, also for you. Or not just for your um, counterpart, but also for you, okay? Um, yeah, so it says, as I do will, so mote it be, let joy and light radiate from me. Remember the Ace of Wands. So as I do will, the Ace of Wands is your willpower. You are in control of how you feel, not this person. Who the hell are they? So keep that shield of gold around you, protecting you, okay, at all times. Keep a candle of peace lit, preferably a white candle. You get what I'm saying? Something along the lines of this can be a little tea candle or you can do, you know, a taper candle or a tapper candle or whatever you pronounce it as. However you choose to go about it, honey. Um, you can do 99 cent from the dollar store candle, you know, whatever, you know, white, okay, is, you know, for God's peace, God's energy, okay, but just keep yourself protected, you know, that's why I said some people work with dark energy, some people work with light energy, know what energy to work with, right here it says, let joy and light radiate from me so you are a light worker stay in light don't let this person or this situation turn you into something you're not all right so if this was your message or you enjoyed it give it a thumbs up and if you have not already go ahead and subscribe peace and haggeries oh in addition your masculine or your feminine because i don't remember if this is for both of them or not i have to wait till i edit loves you there's romance here there's peace here there's joy here don't let no haters throw it off now peace and haggeries